going to bring you out or when the promise is coming to pass, when your life is bent, when you're having a valley experience, yeah. hallelujah, when in the valley things are hot and rough, what better time for the enemy to mess with you, my God, and paint a picture that really isn't real. Go ahead, yeah. my God. That's right. My Jesus. Paints a picture for you. Or the doctor saw something. Or the lawyer says he's coming. Oh, Jesus. Or an unexpected bill has shown up. Or the husband's not acting right. Or the children getting in trouble. It's just a mirage. Yes. Because when you tap into your faith and you go back to the hearing and the reading of God's word, you find out the truth. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Because when you go back to the doctor, what they thought they saw, they don't see anymore because it was all just up. Come on, that's real, that's real. And when you go to the doctor, when, when, it, when you go to the lawyer, they tell you what they thought was going to happen. He says, well, no, actually, that thing is turned around for you. I just need you to sign here instead of you owing them. They owe you. It was just up. Come on, come on. So he puts up a mirage. But I tell you to push that mirage, your hand will go right on through that piece of paper. And on the other side of that paper is that very thing that you've been asking God for. All you've got to do is reach in and snatch it out. Yes. My God. Yes. Jesus. Come on, right. come on. But he makes it appear to be solid. His tactics are not solid. We don't need a sledgehammer to tear down his tactic. All we need is faith. Yes. All we need is prayer. All we need is fasting. All we need is speaking yes. the word. All we need is praise. Yes. To tear down the enemies. Amen. Tear down his mirage. Yes. Hallelujah. But in the midst of him putting up this mirage, here comes Jesus. And he says, don't you know that I've called you out before and I will call you out again. Hallelujah. Because you are my servant. You are my chosen people and you are my friend. Yes. Verse 10a, he tells us, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. Hallelujah. Don't you fear for I am with you. Don't be dismayed. Dismayed means to be discouraged yes, right. by sudden trouble. Right. Yes. Come on, come on. Sudden trouble. So we want to talk about the suddenly blessings of God. But we don't want to talk about the suddenly troubles. Oh my God, when you just got out of prayer, you just got out of the presence of the Lord, and here comes the phone ringing with suddenly trouble. It's easy if you're not really, really, really in the presence of the Lord. It's easy to get discouraged for a moment. But he reminds us right here. He said, don't be don't be fearful and don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Because I'm with you. Amen. Amen. And I will strengthen you. Yes, 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 yes. And I will take care of you. Yes. Verse 10b, it says, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous, righteous right, right hand. Righteous, right, right. I will strengthen yes. you. Come on. When you feel weak. Anybody with me? Am I by myself? When you really, really, I mean really feel like just giving up. And feel like throwing in the towel. It's Thursday night again. And I've got to go to work in Richmond. But I still don't see what he's promised me. Why don't I just give up this church thing? Give up this God thing? That's what the enemy paints a picture of. But instead, I'm going to press because in the midst of me saying, no, I'm not going. I'm going to stay home again tonight. Something hits me up and gets me dressed. And while I'm fussing, I'm putting my shoes on. Before I know it, I come walking into the house. And while I'm sitting here, God tends to turn my situation around. While I'm sitting here, he begins to work on my heart. My God. Yes. My deliverance. Yes, it finds me. Uh -huh. 